Good afternoon, Mr. Swenson. Hi, Kat. You're giggling. I am giggling. Um, it's because you want to know what's so funny. Tuning up a machine. Exactly. It's Am I hysterical. Right? Yeah. Um, so you're going to guide us through the Serena. Mm -hmm. And um, tune we have a tune-up kit. Comes with some descaler. So yep. you first want to run it through a whole descale. Yep. Um, and then what else does it come with? It comes with directions. Step-by-step mm -hmm. -step directions on how to install it. Okay. Um, and it comes with a descaling guide. Instructions. Yep. And okay. like you were saying, um, it comes with like, one packet of descal. All right. So I start this whole process up by doing a thorough descale. Yep, exactly. Um, why and when do I want to do this? What? Why would I do it, basically? Um, you would do it because you're, well, for starters, the parts that this comes with are like mm -hmm. the brew head gasket okay. and this ball valve with the spring and a new screen, which are all very essential parts um, in terms of your machine working properly. Okay. So, um, like, if you ever, if your machine's heating up, Mm -hmm. And you're noticing it's dripping, um, and not like more than it used to. I'd say when it's heating up to steam temperature, if it drips a couple times, that that's fine. That mm -hmm. that's normal. But if you're noticing continuous dripping while it's heating up, getting the temperature, it's because this spring is actually in the process of failing and getting really weak. Okay. And it can't hold the pressure anymore. So, I mean, this spring alone is is what's holding all your water in your boiler before you press the button to get a shot. Okay. Um, and it's calibrated especially to meet the pressure of the pump. So it's it's holding all the pressure in there while it's heating up, and then as soon as the pump hits, it can't hold that pressure, and then all the water comes through. Got it. Um, so if you're ever <laughs> noticing that with your machine while you're heating up to coffee temp or steam temp, if it's dripping from the brew head, mm -hmm. this needs to be replaced. Okay. Now, if you're ever noticing when you lock your portafilter mm -hmm. uh, that it's dripping over the top edge, you know, while it's supposed to be dispensing from the spouts below, your brew head gasket needs to be replaced. It's just not doing a seal anymore effectively. Exactly. That's okay. exactly what it's doing. And um, what about um, replacing the brew screen? What's my sort of symptom for that? Well, um, it's kind of hard to see that unless you take it off, but when you're doing this tune-up, mm -hmm. you should take your screen and hold it up into the light and just, and, and literally see how many holes may or may not be obstructed. Okay. Um, and you'd be su you'll be surprised how many are. Um, it's, it's very bad. And that just is creating more work for your pump. Then your pump's having to get through that, and it shouldn't have to do that. Okay. And then your pump can fail, and you don't want that. All right. So the Serena is um, no longer being manufactured. Mm -hmm. um, so taking good care of it means it will live longer yep. because you can't replace it if you love it. Definitely. Um, so why don't you take me through the process? After I've done my D-scale, what's my next step? Your next step would be to remove all the accessories so okay. we can turn it upside down. Um, and because upside down, it's just the brew head's so visible, it mm -hmm. makes it very, very convenient. So I got all that removed, and then we'll take our water tank lid and our water tank out. And then we are good to flip it upside down. Now I brought this towel just because so you, we don't scratch the top of this thing. Okay. We don't want that. Mm -mm. It's going to place it right upside down and it's it's pretty sturdy. You know, yeah. you don't worry about it teetering or anything like that. It will, it will stay in place. So let me get my Phillips screwdriver here and we're just going to start with taking the screen out which is just held in place by this screw. So let's see. Okay, that's not too tight. That's fine. And this screen doesn't, you know, this machine doesn't look like it actually needed a tune-up. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look too bad. You'll notice if you need a tune-up, this will be full of grounds mm -hmm. and just you know coffee material and and like this this whole screen will be very you know dirty. Okay, so um, now that I have that off, I, do I want to scrub this area down here? Yeah, you, okay. def you definitely would want to. Okay. Um, you'll probably want to take. Let's take off a couple more pieces first. Um, let's start with this, which okay. is your boiler bushing. Um, now we have like this customized tool here at Seattle Coffee Gear, but there are a number of things you can use to get this out at home. Um, you know, people have called in telling us that they've used a quarter and it gets out fine depending mm -hmm. on the, how tight it is. Some people have said they've been able to find a flathead that's short enough mm -hmm. that's also wide enough to get in between those two. Okay. But let's get this in here. Go ahead and get this out. And this is actually what's holding your spring and ball valve in place, is this part. I'm just gonna keep on going here. And then it's, it's almost free. Not quite, there we go. 
Oh, so okay. So this is completely out. You, you know, it just looks like a big screw. Mm -hmm. Then we'll take this out. And it seems like, there we go. Okay. This doesn't look too bad, but you know, like I said, this machine didn't Need look like it needed a tune-up especially. Okay. Now let's take a look at this brew head gasket and see how, see how wedged down there it is. I don't think we'll, we'll take too much work getting this out. Sometimes the brew head gasket can be kind of a pain to get out, but just find an area that has an opening and start prying below it to get it up. Mm -hmm. uh, the Serena brew head gasket is kind of, it's kind of a pain, but... As can it, we do the wood screw trick with this guy, or is it not the helpful? Thing, the, well, the thing with this is, you could, you could do that. Okay. This, this gasket in particular, now, I mean, if you get it like that, you're good. It's, it's... Okay. Yeah, you got, you got plenty of it out. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease just because of the nature of how it's supposed to fit in there. But um, it, you could, that will probably work. Um, this this brew head gasket, when you compare it to other ones, mm -hmm. got it. It's, it's pretty it's different. pretty thin. Yeah. yeah, and you know it's got a hmm. bunch of different layers to it. Yeah. And I'd say if you're gonna do the screw trick, make sure that you're going right through the middle of it, so you'll get as much that of the meat. Area. Yeah, you'll get as much of the meat of the gasket as you can get. That's a meat gasket? I thought it was a rubber gasket. <laughs> They're really good on the barbecue. <laughs> so. Okay, so now we have that out. Yep. And now I'd want to do a good cleaning yeah. in this area. Do I take anything else out or? No, this is this is it. That's, that's it. That's, that's okay. everything right there. And you know, like you, you can see there's a lot of coffee down here. So you'd want to get that cleaned out. Okay. Um, just so it's it's actually flush mm -hmm. with, um, you know, with the gasket itself. Okay. Um, yeah. So. It's one thing that's important with the gasket is you can see they have two completely different sides. Yeah. Now the side that's flat is the side that you want your portafilter to be making contact with. And there's a groove in the bottom half of your boiler for this groove of the gasket. Okay. So we're going to get, I'm going to kind of put it in the exact same way I took it out. I'm going to use those portafilter locks to get this in right. And push it all the way around. And then sometimes once you get it in there kind of halfway, you know, your portafilter can actually be a great tool to get it, you know, in its right place. To seal it down, mm -hmm. settle it. Exactly. Settle down. Exactly. Rowdy little gasket. <laughs> and I'm going to use this a little bit just to push it down. Oops. Whoops. I mean, it's it's made out of some pretty tough material, so you don't have to worry about it ripping or anything like that. I mean, you can't be made out of meat. Out of meat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's pure beef. That is. Oh, it, I did forget about one lip here. Let's get that down in place. Perfect. And it looks like we are good to go here. Golden. Okay. okay. So now you'll do a little. Are you gonna put the portafilter into seat, or do you think you're you're confident? It's we're good. good. We're okay. we're totally good right now. You'll know if it's not good. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, if it's not, your first seal will get it in place just because that takes a lot of pressure and it's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, pushing the whole thing at the same time. All right. So now I'm putting the, the, um, the ball valve and, and screw. Exactly. Okay. In the spring, we'll, we're going to, we're going to put this just in there like that. Okay. And it's going to sit freely for a moment, but then we're going to take this, make sure it just goes up the channel in the bushing and then we're going to push down. And I like to do this by hand, the first turn, just to get it in. Okay, okay. see now we know it's threaded. And I'm compressing the spring when I do this. Mm -hmm. I'm compressing it a little bit so we can meet, the threads can meet up. And then I turn. Mm -hmm. And I know this is working. Oh, see, I didn't grab the threads there. Mm -hmm. Compress, turn, now it's good. Got it, okay. And then you'll fasten yeah, it down. Exactly, now we'll, we'll go all the way. And this, it, this, this doesn't... You're not going to feel this like a normal screw just start getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It's going to get to a place and just stop. It just stop? Okay. Yeah, and that's really important. You know, like right now it's not getting tighter for me, but it's just going to run out of room. It's going to kind of bottom out. I see. And, it, and you're good to go. You don't okay. need to worry about it any more than that. All right. Now we are ready for uh, our screen and our screw. Okay. The new brew screen. Mm -hmm. All clean, squeaky clean. Exactly. Brand spanking new. I'm going to put that right here. And get our, our Phillips here and screw that in. Mm -hmm. 
and that's kind of the same thing with that. That's your water path right there. So you don't need to go too tight. Just finger tighten it and it's good to go. Okay, cool. And then that's all? That's your whole tune-up kit right there installed. That's tight, B. All easy, right. Easy, easy. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time. Of course, my pleasure.